Welcome back to my channel. So I have been watching literally so many videos on YouTube that are like like declutter, reorganize, that kind of thing and kind of inspired me to make my own. So I thought I would make this video basically showing you like reorganizing my room, decluttering stuff and like making my room hopefully much nicer because hey I've got to stay in it for like 10 weeks or something cray cray so I may as well. So that's the tea sis. I honestly don't know where to start and I've got a feeling this is going to take me all day. Right now it's 11 o'clock and I'll update you as well like when I get to lunch and stuff but I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of time lapses in this as well so hopefully this is going to be a really satisfying, productive video. And maybe it will inspire you to like declutter, reorganise your room and why not because this is a great time to do that. Let's be productive, let's hopefully have a good time and let's get started decided that actually before I jump right in I want to give you a quick little look around my room right now because honey it's ghastly it's ghastly darling it's ghastly I don't really know where to start if I'm honest you know what you know what actually the first thing I'm gonna do is just like tidy up the existing mess a little bit because I don't think I can properly tidy with like yesterday's dinner and like some bowls and stuff so let's sort that out first hit the time lapse can't prepare yourself for us There is nothing to discuss A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do in the Okay, so I just did kind of like a little tidy Like it's not perfect, but it's a little bit better than it was Like, I can deal with it like this So I'm going to take this downstairs And then I think I'm going to get started on like my bedside table drawers Because they are a mess Okay, so I took all of that stuff downstairs and I'm gonna get started on my drawers. I'm gonna start with the top drawer because I think that is the worst. So in here we've got everything from a pair of headphones to bags, you know, like little reusable bags. We've got mail that probably has my address on it. Anyway, I'm gonna sort through here and like work out what's Gucci and what's not. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I've emptied the top drawer completely and to be honest, n nothing really had a part. Basically they were all just random things and I don't think I'm gonna actually put any of them back in this drawer. So, what I'm gonna do is go down to the next drawer. This drawer is also a big fat mess. It's like really random stuff again, but the main thing that I always normally did keep in here is contact lenses, but they've kind of spread themselves out. So I think I'm gonna put my contact lenses in this drawer. Hopefully that will make it more organized. Okay, so basically, the top drawer now has contact lenses in this little box thing, and then at the back I've got really random things, vitamins, my glasses cleaner for when I find my glasses, and contact lens solution, so it's basically quite an empty little drawer. And then the next drawer down has nothing in it at the minute, I've cleaned it out but it's still empty. We're going to wait and see, and hopefully I can find a nice little purpose for that drawer. Okay, so I switched over to this side, which I don't think is as bad, but to be honest, like, I feel like it's got messy recently. So, top drawer is supposed to be like electronic -y stuff, but we've got like a notebook, photo paper, which is really random. It kind of just needs like a tidy up, I think. And there's also some contact lenses, so they can go over there. But I am gonna just start with the top drawer, making sure it's all electronic -y stuff and putting all of my like charges and stuff in here. So let's get started on the top drawer. No way, I will let you dig your hole. Okay, so I just finished kind of rearranging the top drawer. To be honest, it still looks a little bit messy, but I think charges always look messy. Like there's no way to make them look completely neat. So it's a bit messy, but it's not too bad. So now I'm gonna attempt to sort out the second drawer down, which I think probably will be really easy because there's not much in there. And I'm thinking all I'm gonna do really is make it like a second electronics drawer, but make it like like bigger electronics, if that makes sense, because there's not really space for those kind of things. Okay, so I literally, that drawer took me like five seconds, I'm not even gonna lie. 
Okay, guys, so I just came downstairs because I'm going to have a snack break. It's like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock? No, that clock's wrong. It's 1 o'clock, so it's basically lunchtime. So I'm going to have a little sandwich or something, and then I will go carry on. I just needed a little snack break. So I'm going to start on some of these drawers. This bottom drawer has so much random stuff in it that I don't need, like old school work and stuff like that, and I haven't been through it in so long. So I'm going to go through this and put a ton of stuff in the bin that I don't need. So hopefully that's going to free up so much space. I can pick you up. Okay, so I just finished organising this drawer. It actually took a really long time. I guess it was more mess than I thought. But it's pretty organised now. Like, I understand where everything is. But this drawer is really super organised. I think I did a good job. The next drawer I'm going to do is my pyjama drawer, which is the drawer above. This drawer isn't too crazy, but I always feel like I'm not strict enough on myself when I clean out pyjamas. So I need to go through properly and like decide what I'm keeping and what I shouldn't keep. And yeah. So I just finished doing my like pajama drawer and making it all organized. I actually think I did make an improvement. And in terms of like throwing out clothes slash or pajamas, throwing them out or keeping or whatever, a pile of pajamas that I just never wear or don't fit me or I have no need for. I think the part that I'm gonna do next is honestly my deepest darkest secret. So the fact that I'm gonna show you this, it's pretty crazy. Guys, I never open this wardrobe in videos i never open it in real life to be honest and that is because it's such a mess like i'm actually embarrassed of this cupboard that's why i don't open it but like gotta big up and do it i'll be honest i have no idea where to start with this jungle i guess i'm gonna start with the bottom shelf because i think this might be the worst affected area and then I'm gonna work my way up. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak. Pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath. Okay, so I finished the first shelf, kind of. Now, when I say kind of, this is what I mean. So, like, it's done for now, but there might be things up here and here and everywhere else that kind of like contribute to it. Does that make sense? So, basically, at the back, I've got a little bit of filming equipment, some scrunchy bags, little money jar, jewelry. This little bag, I'm actually going to put all my nail stuff in it. I have a little basket here, which has got my belts in it. And then here, I've got my candles, and I've got, like, pockets, pouches, I guess, that have, like, gift vouchers and stuff like that in them. So, I think I did pretty well. I was a bit mad, like, I thought a load of stuff on this shelf was going to have to get chucked out, but there wasn't that much I could chuck out. So, hopefully, this shelf is a little bit more, like... Some keep, some throw away. Otherwise, I don't know where I'm going to put everything because I have no room. So, fingers crossed that this isn't all necessary, basically. <laughs> Let's go. So, here is the shelf. It's kind of tidy. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a lot of the stuff there is like memory kind of stuff. So, next I've obviously got to do this lovely little shelf, which is kind of, again like stress but the good thing is these three shelves are the worst things in my whole room to clean so after i've done this shelf then it's an upward goodness you know does that make sense i don't think it does but i'm gonna clean it yes See, I know this, but the last days in real life i've noticed Okay, so I don't know why I'm all of a sudden doing this like it's a vlog, but I finished doing this shelf and it's kind of not got that much on it because a lot of it was rubbish, but I'll give you a quick tour of it. So I've got all my like pens, like pens and pencils, and I've got notebooks, more notebooks, and like photo, and then I've got some little like crafty kind of supplies at the back, more key rings in one of these, some hair stuff, and this is like perfumes in one, earrings another and some little bits and bobs okay guys so here's the tea i've pretty much cleaned up like everything i said i needed to clean up like all the mess like look it's not too bad like there's a little bit on the floor but it's not too bad but basically it's like later now it's like six seven it's dark outside i've been doing this all day i did not think it was going to take like a whole day i thought it would probably take from like 11 in the morning to like around now i thought i'd be done but i'm only like 
half done, maybe two thirds done. So the plan is stop now, but then wake up early, probably at like eight in the morning and do a lot more then. And hopefully I'll be done by like lunchtime tomorrow. Okay guys, so it is like tomorrow from when I started filming, if that makes sense. I know I look like the same day I'm wearing the same thing. I'm actually not wearing different bottoms today. And the reason I've got this on is cause thumbnail, you know? I wanna get a cute thumbnail and I wanna wear this. So I'm moving on to my clothes cupboard wardrobe. That's what it's called, closet if you want. This wardrobe has my dresses in it and like rompers and stuff like that, which I have a lot of. And let me tell you, this is half of it. The other half has been hanging on my door for a really long time for no apparent reason. A reason this will be quite the challenge is I also keep some makeup in here, which is just kind of kind of random, but it just works as a place to put my makeup. And I also have a box full of shorts and just some random things in here. So it is a little bit of a mess. So I'm gonna sort it out. Okay, so I just finished this wardrobe. It didn't take as long as I thought it would, so that's really good. There was a lot in here that I have decided to get rid of, to like sell, give to charity, etc. And I'm kind of shook by that, because I didn't think there would be as much as there was. My makeup, I've decided I will, well, first of all, I need to like separately go through all my makeup and check out stuff, etc. But I've decided there's probably space on those shelves that I cleaned yesterday because some of them were quite empty, so I think they could fit there a lot better. And the shorts, I decided to put in a drawer in my bedside table. If you remember, like the second or first drawer I did, I ended up leaving it empty and like waiting to see if there was something I could put in there, and there was my shorts. So that is why my shorts are there now. Okay guys, so now I'm moving on to this cupboard, which is one of the last clothes things. Nah, uh, no, never mind. So I'm gonna do like the top part of my cupboard first, which is probably the most hectic. So we've got, we've got skirts here. Then I've got some hats and socks and tights and bed socks, but they're all like in a big jumble right now. So that's not ideal. Then over here I've got some more t-shirts and stuff and then the bottom is all tops and stuff I'm gonna do that after. I guess I'm just gonna have a go and see if I can crack on with it so let's go. Okay, so I've officially finished this whole wardrobe. I ended up just going straight into doing the bottom part because it like made a little bit more sense. So here up the top of my wardrobe, I've still got all of my skirts and then I've also got all of my crop tops. And the reason I just put all my crop tops up there is because then at the bottom here, I've got my joggers at the front and then in my baskets, I've still got socks and like fluffy socks and tights and then like, accessory kind of things like hats, gloves, scarves, that kind of stuff. And then at the bottom, I've got all my other like tops, so just like long sleeve or normal, you know, like all of that stuff. I really am happy. I think it's organized. I think it's gonna work really well. I just think this is a big improvement, so I'm super happy with this wardrobe. Next, I'm going to be doing my little like drawer, which has in it my jeans and some workout stuff and leggings. Okay, so this is the drawer I'm on about. If I open it up, you can see it's quite a mess. I don't really know why it's got this messy because it was tidy for a really long time then all of a sudden it just like got messy. I don't think I'm gonna like move this around that much. I'm probably just gonna like, I don't know, tidy it up? I don't know, let me see what I can do. Okay guys, so I finished the drawer. It is a lot tidier, definitely. So I've got leggings in this one section and I got rid of so many leggings because I have so many unnecessary pairs. Then I've got my jeans in one section and then in the final section I've got sports bras and my gymnastics leotards as well. But it's really tidy and I'm really happy with it. Guys, now it is time for a huge challenge. So I need to clean out all of this like makeup which is such a tip and I've got some in here as well and it's basically all just a big mess so wish me good luck because this could take many hours but let's go okay guys I have just 
finished doing my makeup drawer. It didn't take me as long as I thought because there wasn't as much like stuff I had to throw out. It's just like reorganize. So basically what I've done is in this drawer, I've stripped it down to like my bare essentials. So I've got setting sprays, moisturizers, primers, foundation, concealer, um, like a little bit of contour, a little bit of highlight, a little bit of eyeshadow. Basically like my favorite things and then my most essential things. Then I have my little makeup stand, which I am still using for like bits and bobs, like lip glosses, lipsticks, some eyebrow products, just stuff that I have multiple of that are small. And then my big pink makeup storage box is filled with things that I don't use as often, but I still use enough that I don't want to throw them out. So I feel very like accomplished with that and the only thing I have left to tidy is under my bed which don't get me wrong is a huge mess but considering that everything else is all nice and tidy I feel so like ready to do it so let's go. Okay guys so my bed is quite cool because it lifts up so I have a ton of storage under here which is literally the reason I bought this bed because I have a lot of stuff and I need a lot of place to put it. <laughs> So this is how my bed lifts up and underneath is a whole mess. So what I originally did and what I think I'm gonna try and like reinstate is that one side of my bed is shoes and the other side of my bed is bags. And then I also have like teddies and pillows at the back as well that I don't wanna get rid of. I know what I need to do, it's just, it looks like a lot of work right now. I'm sure it will be okay. It's just a bit of a mess, but let's go let's try this what could go wrong okay so i just finished and i'm pretty happy with it i feel like it's kind of hard to make some things tidy like i don't know like some bags and stuff is kind of hard to organize when you don't have that much space but i think my shoes look really tidy and i think this looks a lot better than it did so i'm really happy with it but guys that was the last thing i had to do which means my room is all freshly organized and tidied and i'm really happy with it so guys, if you're not already, please remember to subscribe to my channel with that big red subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. You can also follow me on all of my social media, which will be linked in the description box below. And please give this video a great big thumbs up with the like button to show me that you enjoyed. And let's try and get this video to 2,500 thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed seeing me get all organized and all ready to be productive. I don't even know what I'm about, but yeah. But I feel so much better now. I've got a tidy and organized space for the whole of quarantine. I could be way more relaxed. And so I really recommend this if anyone is thinking about tidying their room, do it. But that is all for now. And all that's left to say is I love you a lot and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.